What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of The Wind. Let's rock this. First up, special thanks to IFC Midnight. I had the opportunity to interview the star of this film, Caitlin Gerard, and the director, Emma Tammy, at this film's press junket. So come watch my entire interview with these two amazing women right here on Rama Screen YouTube channel. I'll provide the link in the description box below this video. As a lifelong fan of the horror genre, I'd say that The Wind does not disappoint me at all. And what I love about this movie is that the terror doesn't come like cheap jump scares, but it's actually more character based. The terror is built around the characters and it creeps up at you. So when it does strike, when you least expect it, it leaves a lasting impression. Much of the wind plays in the stillness and the quietness of it all, which makes the anticipation all the more suspenseful and haunting. In the wind, Caitlin Gerard plays Lizzie, who with her husband settle on a remote stretch of land on the 19th century American frontier. Isolated from civilization, in a desolate wilderness where the wind never stops howling, she begins to sense a sinister presence that feels like it's coming from out of the land itself. Her husband dismisses it as mere superstition. But when another couple moves in on a nearby homestead, Liz's fears are amplified because the same unseen evil may also be disturbing their new neighbors as well, setting into motion a shocking chain of events. Western films are few and far between these days, let alone Western horror, or horror Western, however you want to call it. So when something like The Wind comes along, it grabs my curiosity. I think the movie's emphasis on the wide landscapes and the vast horizon, where there's not much of anything for miles and miles, really pays off. Because the emptiness surrounding Lizzie plays into not just her feelings of isolation, but also her thoughts of, oh, maybe she's not alone. Maybe something is lurking amongst them. So unlike most other Westerns that show the stereotypical muddy, dirty small town and the stereotypical saloon bar and the bank and the sheriff and whatnot, the wind keeps it just about these two houses, these two neighbors, stuck in the middle of nowhere, out in the boonies, on a lonely prairie. The costumes and the production design look authentic and genuine. Plus, it makes you not envy the living condition of that era on the frontier. Because even before the Fright Fest sinks in, you already feel concerned for the safety of those characters. You're wondering how on earth can they survive out there all by themselves far from any sort of lifeline, if you will. Now, I've seen Caitlin's previous work in Smiley and Insidious The Last Key, but I think The Win may be the first gig in which she carries the movie with this sort of fierce on-screen presence. Her character, a woman, is viewed by this era as someone who just stays home. She doesn't follow her husband to get supplies from the town. This is not necessarily a female empowerment movie. But Teresa Sutherland's script says a subtle something about feminists when the husbands pay the price for not believing their wives. The non-linear progression of the story might throw you off a bit from time to time, but it's actually quite easy to track as you try to make that connection from one to the other. What happens in the present day only makes you curious to see what happened beforehand, and what previously took place only makes you curious to see what transpires next. The Wind is a well-directed, well-acted film about either a character spiraling down into madness or the close encounter of the evil kind. So that's it. That's my review of The Wind. Share your thoughts in the comment section below, and as always, subscribe to my channel and press that like button and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Hey, if you like this review and you want me to make more, please contribute monthly to help support this channel at Rama Screen Patreon page. Become my patrons today at patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this.